Hey everyone, Les here from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today is 14 of September 2022 and market is uh, set to fall sharply. What are my thoughts about this? Obviously, this is a, a result of a, a CPI numbers to be uh, worse than expected, which suggests the Fed will increase interest rates more aggressively, therefore panicking, uh, causing panic in US market. And obviously this panic will, uh, will, will roll out uh, across the Australian market as well. What are the stocks that are going to be most affected and what are the safe havens, the stock that I believe could be a good defensive position if you want to keep invested into the market during this downturn. So let's have a look. Just want to remind you, this is not a financial advice. It's just as from BG Trading, sharing with you how we apply our strategies to know when to buy, when to sell stocks, how we set up targets, stop losses, avoid FOMO, hedge our portfolio be, uh, to protect in profit against market crash and much more all in this channel. So if you like, please subscribe it and share this video from one that you believe could be interested. Now let's jump straight into today's article that I've just shared in my free Facebook community, which by the way, if you're not a member yet, that's free calls buy, grow, sell strategy for share traders. What are you waiting to jump into our community? Uh, now, ASX uh, market set to fall sharply. That's result of CPI, uh, result of um, uh, fears that interest rates will uh, go higher than expected, and that will have directly effect in a negative effect in some of the sectors. Why are those sectors? The very ma uh, very same sectors that have been affected over the tech sell off and companies that are highly leveraged, which, which in this case, highly leveraged uh, tech stocks, uh, growth companies that have not been able to improve its fundamentals. And when I'm talking about its fundamentals, I'm not talking about revenue, I'm talking about uh, net profit and loss. So companies uh, like, unfortunately, we, we opened a position in, uh, in by now Pilar Sizzle. It wasn't a big position, but we opened. Uh, companies like this more likely to be affected in the, the short term. So we have some, we most likely will see some pressure uh, against those stocks like Zip, uh, Points Bet, and those uh, highly leveraged stocks. Now, uh, good companies like tech stocks that have been reporting uh, reportedly well uh, during this last season, improving its uh, profit and loss, they are likely uh, to still be affected, but they are likely to uh, most likely form a higher low. And then uh, once this, um, this uh, CPI is digested by the market, most likely to go higher than uh, the previous uh, sort of level, making higher highs and higher lows. So when I'm talking about stocks like uh, uh, Megaports, Altium, and uh, and to name a few. Now, growth stocks, they have been reporting well as well. When I'm talking growth stocks, I'm talking about companies uh, like uh, Tyro, for example, um, and, and many other stocks that we actually have uh, been uh, sort of uh, trading over the last few months. Now, uh, stocks that I believe could be safe, could be a safe haven or could be uh, less affected by these are consume, consumer defensive stocks like A2 Milk, Bubs Australia. Um, uh, by the way, A2 Milk has been downgraded by, uh, by analysts, honestly, I don't know why. This downgrade is not reflecting on the share price. And I think this is a manipulative downgrade. Sorry about these guys that are downgrading stocks. E2Milk has reported uh, reasonably well 
uh, actually pretty well compared to <laughs> the previous uh, time. It should have been upgraded, but that's my rumble opinion. Uh, obviously, I'm positive about this stock. Now, other uh, sectors that could um, could hold uh, could hold is a travel sector and healthcare stocks. They all are on our green ticks here. And then you guys, I struggle to trade. Obviously, uh, uh, be in touch with our team via DM. Uh, or put in the comments or uh, jump into our website, bgtrading.com.au and have access to what are the stocks, what we're doing in the market, how we apply our strategies, want to learn our strategies via BG Trading online course as well. Uh, this is a great opportunity because uh, as the market falls, that will open for a lot of uh, stocks being again at the technically discounted price, which is a great opportunity to buy into. Don't wait the stock to go, all, uh, the market to go at all times high to, uh, to start learning about trading. You gotta, you gotta learn to trade when the stocks are cheap. Uh, okay. So now, um, let me just, uh, um, let me just uh, show you a few negative things in the market, unfortunately. So first thing is, um, if you if I if you open the SX here, if you open the XX, as you can see here, this is the SCMA 250, okay, uh, the pink line, as you can see, and this pink square shows that the um, the market is not just in bearish, uh, bear uh, it, it's it is a bear market according to our strategy, and then just to just to uh, to make sure you guys understand uh, the concept of bull, bull market and bear market uh, for us is different. Uh, this is a concept that we have developed through our BG trading strategy. So every time uh, the, the the market is actually trading above this uh, pink line, so we call the market is bullish. It's a bull market, but every time it goes under, it's a bear market. So that's when we raise all the red flags and we start sort of a, a, a red hedging uh, the market. And it looks like when the market opened today, now is 9.30 in the morning, but when it open today, we'll see a big red candle here, which is obviously uh, uh, will reflect, will show that the, this potential bullish intersection here didn't happen, not going to happen, uh, just at least not now. And, and, and it will fail and then it will drag the market, uh, potentially to, uh, uh, to these levels here or depending how, uh, the panic, uh, how the panic occurs, we might see even, uh, the market at the lowest. Uh, are these uh, lows here from uh, from from June lows uh, June lows, and if that happens, obviously, uh, again, we we'll open the good opportunities. Okay, so another thing, another negative input is the the volatility index, and I have I have showed here uh, the volatility index uh, is uh, currently trading in a bullish uh, bull uh, bull trend, and that's no good. That's uh, that's no good at all. As you can see, this massive green candle and the high volume uh, suggesting that the volatility will keep increasing in the market. And if that happens, then most likely uh, this reflect panic, reflect fear in the market. And, uh, and, and then that's no good. And we might see uh, VIX around this $35, uh, $35 mark here. If that happens, uh, we will see uh, the, our market or U.S. market trading at the same levels of uh, June, unfortunately. Uh, but if we if you hedging uh, via BBOs via BBUS, you should be protected. You should be happy because you'll be making money out of that. Okay. So um, this is my thoughts. Um, uh, at, uh, unfortunately, at the moment negative. We uh, most likely will close some positions and reduce some positions as well. But um, but the fact that we holding uh, we hedging the market that give us uh, some good security and uh, and obviously uh, give us some uh, confidence that uh, we will be able to profit out of this and even uh, buy the stocks at the cheaper uh, cheaper uh, value. All right, at the moment hedging until the end of the month until uh, we have a clear picture of what's going to happen with the interest rates, how high will Fed rise in the interest rates at the end of September. So I wouldn't be buying anything until the end of September. Okay, uh, that's my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let us know what you think. And uh, 
uh, would be very happy to answer all those questions. I normally read all the posts, so uh, don't be shy to uh, post on our uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. The whole idea when we designed BG Trading BGS20 strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.